you should be fine. Look at, he's saying I'm ready. Look at that little <laughs> wiggle with the tail, just doing this kind of thing. Okay, so you'll probably have to inverse the, vert on that here. We'll put it out here so we can see it nice in that sun. Oh, he wants to go. He wants to go and he's go gone. Ahead. Now look at how this frog is a little bit bent. So I know that those of you that fish for bass a lot know that you have to fix that. I've got this line wrapped around that. You'll also notice that I'm using a braided line. It looks like string. That's why it's very easy for the line to kind of twist around the fluorocarbon leader. So I'm just trying to get it out of there. This is a reality of it. The more you use braided line, the limper it gets. So what I want to stress here is that it's very important when you're using a frog like this that it's straight on your rig. So look, this is 50 pound fluorocarbon. Now you might bass guys are going, what do you need 50 pound fluorocarbon? Well, you can get the odd musky and the odd good sized pike that hit these frogs as well. So my goal is to have this frog as straight as possible flat. And you'll notice that the Lunker City frog, much like the Rapala weedless spoon, has like a bend in it. I'll hold it this way so you can see it. See, it's kind of like a boat. So that when you reel it, and you'll, I'll demonstrate it in a minute, the front of it is lighter, the back of it is a little denser with the plastic. So it actually rides when you hit a weed, it tends to go upwards, which is nice. It doesn't get stuck as much. So I try to keep it straight so that it's not hooked left or right, but in the center. And they actually give you this nine, nice little guide, which is designed for the hook to sit in. And you'll notice that on the bottom side, in the center part, there's a gap there. Now you'll notice the reason they have this groove there is that when a bass clamps down his mouth on it, it goes, you can see that it allows the hook to go right into the actual frog. So you get a really good hook set. I much prefer that than having a plastic frog where the hooks are right on the plastic and they have to collapse the plastic. So actually what hooks the fish, when a bass comes up, he actually pushes that hook up and that enables you to get a really good hook set. So I really prefer this kind of a frog over a frog that's a plastic body where the bass has to collapse the plastic. The, the, the hook can't really come up because it's inside the frog. And I also like this, this uh, tail. This is like a big twister tail. When it's going along the surface, you can actually hear it. It's like a buzz bait, but it also looks like a frog, this silhouette. And I think that having that light color, like that pearl is really important because that's like the belly of a frog. And that's what this really represents. So it's weightless. It's ideal to use in heavy cover. And as soon as you slow it down a bit, it just goes down below the surface a little bit. And if there is a fish cruising in an open pocket, it'll come up and nail it.